folks, I'm Ultrazone. Today I have a review of the Revoltech King Gainer. Alright, my zillions, I got a cool robot for you. One that's uh, about to get a Robot Spirits uh, release. Actually, I think the Robot Spirits is already out in Japan. Still waiting for it to come here. It is a figure that I should be getting. It was on my previous pre-order list. And uh, one of the unfortunate things that I had to cancel for my pals at Muteki Sales. Uh, however, I have talked to them and uh, that's a figure that I think I'm still going to get from them. Uh, it isn't one, one of those things they sell much of. So I really want to uh, try to honor that pre-order and get that from them. And I might pick up something else from them that I had previously canceled that is in their shop now. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about King Gainer here. Uh, I decided to review this guy. Now, Mike personal experience with this anime is honestly comes from the figure i didn't know the anime before the figure i really didn't um i i was doing a search one day on uh ebay and this guy popped up and i thought it looked really interesting and it was super cheap to figure brand new it was like something like 1250 i think uh and i was like uh, let me let me look it up a little bit i watched a few episodes of the anime i thought it was cool enough <laughs> At least cool enough to get a 1250 Revoltech figure. Uh, so I did. Is it a cool figure, though? No? Let's uh, find out together. So breaking news as uh, we do this review, but my Robot Spirits version has come in at Muteki Sales. And I, yes, I will be getting it um, at some point. <laughs> um, some point soon in the next few weeks. Um, I might be getting another item from them, so, you know, I don't want to hold up this review. I mean, I could have, because who cares? Um, but I didn't. I already started it, and I wanted to do it. So, proportions look pretty nice. I, I gotta say, I do like how this particular Revoltec robot is proportioned. You know, he's small, but all of these guys are small, but there's, there's something, like... A little wider here than I've seen in some of the other Revoltech robots from this time period. Now, this is actually a legacy of Revoltech version of this one, uh, which means it was already put out twice. Uh, so, yeah, that's the same same deal. It's just a reissue. It looks pretty good. It does. Head sculpt, I think, is really nice. Uh, I really like his face. Um... The green flashes there look good on the um, kind of like visor there that's going on, the blue visor. So those are nice colors. And then this whole design here is really well done. Yes, it's got like some like kind of like tubing that's kind of like hair. And I think that is cool. The show has a really fun theme song, by the way. <laughs> and uh, the main characters all dance and it's, it's kind of fun. I don't know. Uh, you should check it out. Um, the chest plate here looks really good. I like the, the bullets there. They look nice. I like the blue and the yellows, how they look together. Really cool. Nice yellow on the back. Darker blue. And these, like, light blues, like, really pop. I like this part here. That looks good. The arms look very nice. I like how the hands look. So, yeah, really cool. Here in the belly, you got some red, and the design work there is pretty interesting. It's like very organic, you know, like this whole thing. He's got like this kind of belt thing. And, and these robots are called Overmen, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that before. I think the whole series is called Overman King Gainer, uh, if I remember correctly. These things are pretty interesting here. You only get them on one side. And then the the boots are very different. I like that. I like that this guy, you know, is is not um, symmetrical. Um, it it it's it lends to a really nice, unique look for a mech. It really does. It's really cool. Boots are really nice. Again, I like how it's got one knee pad and not the other. The feet are the same, but they look good interesting design so yeah this this is not a bad looking figure whatsoever that's for sure and i think uh and this is the thing i like about the revoltech robots is 
The Revoltec joints actually kind of get lost in the robotiness of it, um, which isn't the same thing as, say, like, you know, when they do a Marvel figure or whatever, and then it just kind of, it's just kind of ugly. But here, as you can see, it just looks fine. Like, you see here, there, it, it, it just looks like robot parts to me. Um, and that really does work. And speaking of those Revoltec joints, let's do articulation, as you can see. These uh, hair things are on Revoltec joints, which is cool. And then the neck is. You can swivel it up the top there, so a nice range of motion. Body has a nice big one. Nothing down at the waist, you just get in the top part, but that's fine. And then this, this is interesting here. I think this is not a revoltec joint here you can swivel it a little bit and move it back and forth uh and i don't think this top part is either so that's pretty interesting yeah i don't hear anything and it moves very very differently you can't go outwards though so that's a big problem uh, and i'll be looking forward to seeing how the robot spirits plays that at the elbow you got a nice revoltec joint there same thing at the wrist the legs, I do not think are Revoltec joints unless it is covered. Hard to tell, but I don't think they are. I can get them to move. The knees obviously are, because I just pulled that one out. And there you go with that. But yeah, I don't think these are. So, and... He just completely fell apart. Uh, the ankles. Forward motion is a little hindered, actually. But back is not. Is there anything else I need to show you on this? You have rotation here. These things are not on Revoltec joints. I just pulled that out. I'm going to have to pop that back in. And now we got a mess going on here. Yeah! Yeah. That actually came off the glue, so... That's holding it in place. Uh, and this is coming off too, so... This figure just fell apart on me. And that's not fun. For accessories, first we get the classic Revoltec stand. I haven't had one of these in a while, but it has two different things you can do with it. Though I don't know how this works with him. Maybe you can put his foot there. I don't know. Um, just a Revoltec in there. It does have like a King Gainer, and this was the seventh Revoltec. And this, uh... Yeah, this is also sculpted by, uh, uh, you know, the amazing Yamaguchi, so that's pretty good. We get some hands besides the fist hands and the holding hands. You get some splayed hands, and they all look pretty good. We get his sword-gun combo thingy. You can see there's a little handle here. If you want, this could shoot out. Um, it's pretty cool. I do dig that. I like how it looks. I like this blue. I like this orange. Silver looks really good. Uh, it, it's very, very nice, and it, I think it fits in his hand well. So it's definitely a cool-looking uh, weapon. I do really dig it. And finally, we get the uh, photon mat ring here. It's kind of like a power thing, surge thing. This is called a chain gun, by the way. It's actually pretty cool, like a chainsaw gun thing. Now, to put this on, you have to put it in these little Revoltec joints in to his hair, <laughs> which is kind of interesting, but it makes sense. So let's try to do that. A little tight, but it's definitely a good way for this to, to hang on. Don't break it. Don't you break it. There you go. So that's how that would look. And I think um, it's pretty nice. I don't know how uh, Robot Spirits does it. Uh, we'll have to see, but I think it looks decent. It's a cool idea to have it like that. So yeah, all in all, that, that would make a nice little display 
for this little, it's like actually biomechanical mech. So yeah, how about that? That's pretty nice. Quick note about the chain gun, it also comes with a different tip. That's why this comes out, I just remembered. Um, it's not here, so it must be in the drawer where I got this guy out of. I, I've, I've seen it before, it's not lost. Um, there's also another uh, hand that uh, I'm missing here, so it it is around. But I just want to let you know. For your size comparisons, here's King Gainer with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, this is not a bad figure. It looks pretty good. I have nothing to say about the looks. Um, the uh, the joints, you know, it's Revoltech, so I'm used to them. I know how they feel. I didn't really talk about it much because at this point, if you don't know Revoltech and their fiddly joints, then, you know, it is what it is. I, I've reviewed a ton of Revoltechs. Um, they are a little fiddly, but this one isn't so bad. It's not a ton. Uh, going on there, so it's not bad and they do fit in very well, so I'm glad about that The fact that he fell apart on me on the review that doesn't mean much to me. I, I do tend to tug on uh, the appendages a little bit uh, Toughly sometimes so it is what it is. All right guys. Uh, this is not a bad figure But I am looking forward to getting robot spirits in hand. We shall see how that stacks up to this one uh, I'm sure, you know, since this is a really old figure, I mean, this was first produced in 2006, um, the Robot Spirits uh, is probably going to be better, but you never know. So we shall find out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out.